Are you looking for a fix to the three app limit in Side Store on iOS and want the ultimate solution for running unlimited apps or games without jailbreak or restrictions, fully compatible with iOS 18, offering JIT support, and much more? Then keep watching this video. In normal scenario, whenever we try to sideload more than three apps via Side Store, we come across a common error like this, which state that we cannot sideload more than three apps and that this device has reached the maximum number of installed apps with free developer profile. And the usual and outdated way to go around this limit is to just deactivate any app by long pressing on the target app, and then sideload the new app, but the deactivated app cannot be used in deactivated state. But then it's an hassle to activate and deactivate apps. So introducing Live Container, an app that lets you sideload unlimited apps and games for free without any jailbreak. So, to prepare your device for Live Container, first delete and uninstall all the apps or games installed via Side Store. Now, just sideload the Live Container app using Side Store. You can find the download process at the end of the video. Once Live Container is successfully installed, it's time to set up the app, so watch carefully. But before that, I want to take a minute of your precious time to talk about the collab partner for this video, which is Tunes Kit. If you are facing issues like this, or this, or you are completely locked out, or when you do not remember your Apple ID or password, or when you forget to turn off Find My iPhone feature, before resetting the device, and you feel helpless and frustrated, meet Tunes Kit iPhone Unlocker, today's sponsor, and the fastest way to get back your iOS devices like iPhones, iPads, and even iPods, in just three easy steps. Just plug in it, download the firmware, and boom, you are back inside your device. Additionally, Tunes Kit can remove and also fix these iOS-related issues and errors, all without losing any data. You can try this tool for free with limited features, or you can enroll to their subscriptions. Links pinned in the comments and down below. This tool is strictly for the device's rightful owner. We respect everyone's S rights and do not support unlawful actions. Our content fully complies with YouTube's community guidelines. Now let's get back to setting up Live Container App. First, launch the Live Container App, navigate to the Settings option, and tap on the Patch Side Store option, as shown in the video. You will automatically be redirected to the Side Store app, where the refreshing process will begin, as indicated by this progress bar here. Once the app is refreshed, launch the Live Container App again, Go to the settings and tap on Jitless Mode Diagnose. Scroll down and tap on Test Jitless Mode. And if you followed me correctly, you'll receive a success message like this, indicating that the setup was successful. Next, you may also install Live Container 2 by tapping on Install Another Live Container and then choosing Side Store from the Share option as shown. Although installing Second Live Container is totally optional, but I would suggest that you do sideload it as it offers running multiple app instance simultaneously, very similar to Parallel Space, which is a feature of Android, it allows to share data between two live containers, also allows you to use StickJIT or other GIT tool in one live container to enable GIT in another live container. Now that we have both the live containers, let's begin unlimited sideloading without limits. Launch live container, tap on the plus icon, and it offers option to sideload app via IPA method and URL method. I have plenty of IPA files downloaded, and as you can see, I am sideloading as many apps as I want, and there is no limitation to it. You can even sideload games and emulators. And for this demonstration, I'll sideload a total of six apps. Now, to run an app or game, simply tap on the Run option, and the target app will launch successfully without any errors. Just one downside of Live Container is that it can run only one app at a time. So, if you want to run another application or game, you must first remove Live Container from the App Switcher, then relaunch Live Container and tap on Run for the desired app or game. And as you can see, all the apps I sideloaded are running without any errors. Now, suppose you want to run another app simultaneously. This is where Live Container 2 comes into the picture. To run another app in Live Container 2, Go back to the Live Container app and long press on the desired app or game. Next, tap on Settings, and then tap on Convert to Shared App. That's it. Now, whenever you run the shared app from the Live Container app, 
it will automatically open in Live Container 2. You can even enable JIT in the Live Container app. And for this demonstration, I'll run the PlayStation 2 emulator, which requires JIT to function properly. As you can see, upon launching the game, it doesn't crash and run smoothly. So, if you want a tutorial on enabling JIT in Live Container, please comment down below. And to download Live Container, visit this website, which is all in one website that provides all the official links, scroll down, and tap on this Live Container button, which will redirect you to the GitHub Releases section. Simply scroll down, and under Assets section, download the Live Container IPA file into your device. That's it for today, and if you want to automate side store refreshing, make sure to check out my next video. Thank you, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.